no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net In 1985, someone at American Airlines realized that if they took a single olive out of each salad they served, they could save $2 million a year. And so it began. A long, hard spiral to the bottom in which there is a price put on things like olives and peanuts, yet no monetary value given to just being a good business or caring about people or giving a flying fuck about the fucks who are flying. Some airlines have said they'll soon start charging for families to sit together. This means we have privatized common decency. Not to mention if the families aren't sitting together, that means I may end up babysitting some sniffling snot brain idiot in an Elmo t-shirt just because Continental wants to make an extra hundred grand a year. And then they'll start charging for you to avoid sitting next to the three-year-old Johnny Knoxville sticking carrot sticks down his pants. And then they'll charge you to avoid sitting next to the, the, the angry comedian who says fuck a lot and seems furious that there's no olive in his salad because he claims it's part of some deeper olive-based conspiracy. Eventually we'll get to a point where we choose who we want to pay to avoid the most. Let's see, uh, the talkative dentist with the bad breast soaked Republican talking points, or the uh, sleeping amateur sumo wrestler who clings on to you for safety from his night terrors. Huh. It used to be that elderly people were allowed on the plane first because they needed extra time, right? But now airlines charge for getting on early, so they've stopped letting the old people on first. They've taken common decency and common sense and placed it on a monetary scale. And it's not just airlines. It's everything from rental cars to mobile phones, ATM fees to insurance policies. Every manner to screw you will be utilized, even if it means charging you just to talk to someone about the thing that's wrong with the thing you bought. They put 12 half-witted fart lickers between you and a refund, just out of the hope that you'll hang yourself while you're talking to fart liquor number 10, and therefore they'll get to keep their $49. This is creating two worlds. One that's civilized and friendly for rich people who can afford it, and another one for everyone else that involves elbowing octogenarians out of the way while boarding a flight because Eunice failed to pay the $10 don't treat me like shit surcharge. But why should we abide by these corporate rules? Why stand by and allow the commoditization of kindness? Why don't we, as passengers, say, here's an idea, fucked an animal. We're not getting on this plane until you allow the woman who looks like Lucille Ball's ghost wrapped around a telephone booth-sized pocketbook to get on first. We're making this decision. And furthermore, she's allowed to walk on your stupid red carpet that's two feet long and was probably in the entryway of a happy ending massage parlor until you grabbed it and decided it means elite. Today, we're giving away common decency for free. That's been your Moment of Clarity. By the way, I'm giving away three more copies of the Moment of Clarity book, the paperback book. You can get it by going to LeeCamp.net and just leaving a comment under the video, any kind of comment about the video, about your thoughts. Just leave it at LeeCamp.net and you'll automatically be entered to win, to possibly win one of the three copies of uh, the Moment of Clarity book. Also, I'll be performing in Vancouver coming up in Providence Rhode, Providence, Rhode Island, and a bunch of other places. Check out LeeCamp.net for details. Thanks. No plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.